Okay, so I'm going to try this. Um, as you know, I normally had RJ and I, so he did the talking, I did the camera, or vice versa. Yeah, we're going to try and show you how um, I work this for dividing these in half. Um, first off, I own two scanners. This one is made by my grandfather. Some, let's see, she would be 94, so over 50, 60 years ago, probably more like 70. Um, and he made it. And it is adjustable. These little things right here slide in and out, and it spins. And then, of course, you can see the workmanship down below. He's got it all braced. Oops, maybe. There you go. All right, so this is my scanner, but it doesn't have a counter on it. This is my one with my counter on it. And I know that the light is sucking, but I, I just really, my eye is not letting me have very much light in here today. So I'm keeping the light low. I apologize. So this is the other scanner. And yes, I do raise it up on two chairs when I'm doing this because I just find that it flows better if I have it as level as possible to go across here because I am scanning from one scan to to another scanner so all right to save time I've already counted that this right here came in at 150 something let me see here on my calculator that's the yarn that we're working on I know that I need 76 uh, okay so it was 153 clicks which is two yards so that would be double but I just need to know how many clicks I need so 76.5 is how many times I need to go around and that's what this counter right here needs to read I don't know if you can see that is 76 so it will actually read 77 because I won't stop in the middle so I have it all set up I'm hoping that this works we'll see and then you just turn and it turns that one I know I can't get this all in the thing and then I'm literally just gonna sit here and watch the counter and when it gets to 77 I will stop and divide it off and I will have two skeins of equal yarn so this kind of primitive but it works and I always like my setup and I can go faster I just don't want to blur the video so <laughs> I'm just trying and I have those skeins to do all of those I have three more to do I'm not going to do the little one so now you get the idea I'll be doing this and dividing I run it once to verify the yardage and then because I have it written down from when I first spun it so I verify it divide it and then actually scan it off to what I need so and then the next step will be um, ball winding it so but scanner to scanner just getting the right yardage and and dividing it all in half so that's what I'll be doing today and I'll show you when I'm done okay so I scanned it off then just started over and I have two uh, skeins approximately the same length one came off at 77 and three quarters and the other one or 76 and three quarters and this one came out to 77 even so I'm within you know a quarter of a yard so there's the final product I still have these to repeat and then I'll show you the final okay so here we are it's all divided we've got these four skeins for one side these four skeins for another and this is the collar now I did the math and let me grab my pattern over here and it looks like I'm gonna have 702 yards for each side so that'll make a good length poncho the way I'm gonna do it so yep I've divided and gonna start working on this and of course over there's my math so there we go all divided and you'll see progress in the podcast